Ooh, y'all, I have something so dope. This is so cute. This is definitely one of my favorite wigs of the year so far. It's given what it's supposed to give. And I have the details for you. So, this wig, is this is an Outre wig, y'all, formerly known as Outre. This is their HHB Body Wave 16. Of course, HHB is a human hair blend, which means it's human hair ish okay not all the way okay it's, it's a blend in there it's got some synthetic to it okay that, that's what we are with that this is a five by five closure wig so what that means is it gives you less parting space than a frontal however we are gonna shift the closure today okay now my hands a little bit ashy because I you know you're washing your hands and stuff so I had to get them good and greased up like they just got baptized but we're gonna talk about shifting the closure turn to your neighbor and say sometimes you have to shift the closure huh if you want that deep ignorant side part okay you don't need a frontal you just think you do you don't okay so that's what this wig is now the wig is gorgeous okay let me tell you the wig is coming at it just like the picture okay just like the picture the only real difference that i saw in it honey they still have the rollers in it i know that's right <laughs> like this game if you want to but the only real difference that i saw is that it's not as full as it looks on the stock cards that happens often so that is not anything that's just you know so shocking it's not as full as it looks on the model okay she not a bald head scallywag by no means but you know she, the density is not quite what it seems now everything else is a plus the way it feels the way it looks it has been pre-plucked you can go ahead it just depends on what level of plucktivity you desire okay and if you want to continue plucking then you need to do what's best for you okay but i'm gonna just keep it as is because i want you guys to see how flawless it looks with no plucking okay now I'm just giving you kind of a visual of what it'll look like if you decide on a middle part, okay? And if you decide on a middle part, then you don't have to shift anything, okay? This does not pertain to those of you who want a middle part, okay? Now, if you're looking at it and you like, ooh, I can part it off to the side with pride because it is a five by five now. So there, you don't have to shift it to get a side part, but sometimes you want to, ignorant side part okay you want that thing to be so good and off to the side that you just you forgot you think it's a frontal you forgot that it's a closure you got that thing so good and deep and off to the side honey you done forgot you got a whole closure wig okay that's what we doing right here and y'all it's easy it's not gonna make anything look off but sometimes i know what, what you think is that gonna make the wig look lopsided uh -uh. i'm gonna show you just move it now i started to i, I kind of wanted it a little bit deeper i started a little small shift and then it called for a greater movement okay so i did that now right here you will notice yes i am hot combing on, on the wig on my face but i'm pulling the lace from my forehead okay because i don't need what third degree burns okay that's where we are with that and i'm just shaping the front part right here y'all just so you can see how easy breezy this is remember i did no plucking to this okay they did that that's how it came out of the box okay so that's that so i'm just kind of shaping it how i want it you really don't have to do any of this if you don't want to but if you're trying to be extra then you know hey you gotta do what you gotta do right okay now they say this can be glueless the wig is nice and roomy it's a medium-sized cap but it's a it's a, a a big medium you know what i'm saying 
my domology requires a small so with that being said i decided to go ahead and melt it because i got some things to do today okay and it's windy outside and i don't need to end up on nobody's TikTok with my wig tumbling down the street like tumbleweed i'm not gonna sit up here and do it so i just decided to do a quick little partial melt okay which is easy breezy when you are working with a closure because you're only melting that little five by five section of lace you see what i'm saying that's it so i'm just doing that because i wanted a better hold and i do not have on my grip cap that i normally have on so under those given circumstances i think it's just best that i go ahead and melt it okay because somebody out there would talk about me if that wig fell off i'm just saying you know I, 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 not all y'all i know that i know that <laughs> anyways i'm just taking a little bit of my um dark powder to go across that hairline it can be your contour powder it can be foundation powder whatever it's just a little bit darker um to kind of blend with my makeup how i do my makeup so that's that this part right here is really just me getting a little small swoop right there off to the side now i know how y'all feel about swoop of dupes i don't even think this could be considered a swoop of dupe a swoop yes okay I give you a swoop, but I don't think this could be considered a swoop of dupe. What y'all think? It's just a little thing to give it um a natural kind of effect. So even those of you who don't prefer swoop of dupes, even y'all can get down with this because this is just a little swoop, okay? I, I don't want you to think it's got the dupe to it. It's, it we not swoop of duping, but we are swooping, okay? That's just for the style. You see how that side is? You see how slick and sleek that is? That's what you're going for right there. All right? Now, of course, you don't have to go for it. We know that. But it's, I'm just showing you how I did it. Okay? Now, I'm just shaping the wig and spraying it down. Because, like I said, it's windy outside. And I want to keep that shape as long as I possibly can. Because y'all know how I feel about shape. Y'all know how I feel about shape. And then that's it, y'all. Just brush through it with a paddle brush just to kind of disrupt the uniformity. And look at that. That's what happens when you keep the rollers in the box the whole time throughout the shipment. You see? You see how those curls stack up? Do you understand? That's why Outre keeps the rollers in the box. Okay. So yes, you do not need a frontal, honey, to make it look like you got a frontal. All right? Because, you know, frontals cost a little bit more. So, hey, you trying to save a couple of dollars, but you want it to look frontal-ish? Just shift it to the side. That's all, y'all. Look how beautiful this wig is. I knew it was going to come at it like that. I knew it. I knew it. I was right. You have to have a, a level of wig discernment out in these wig streets. And uh, yeah, they did that, y'all. Blow those comments up. Let me know what color you grabbing, okay? Peace, love, light.